Well, it's been an unbelievable season of competitive FIFA this year. One-on-one, -on -one, Marco Roy, Good shit, the keeper! It's been a truly global competition. More than 20 million players taking part from over 60 different countries. Now that you've seen all the fancy stuff, it's time to show you behind the curtain, literally. Hi, I'm Jimmy Conrad, and we're about to walk into the Endemol Shine studio. It's over 25,000 square feet, and as one of the talent, I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes look at all the magic for the FIFA 18 Global Series. What's up, fellas? What's going on? You guys good? You ready for the big show? Yeah! Get a perm. We need you on air now. Oh, they need me. I'll catch you guys later. See you later, man. Here in Amsterdam, we have 128 players that are speaking 15 different languages because they are traveling from all over the world. They have 1,700 nights that are booked. Then you have transportation to and from the airport. So there are two TV trucks, eight kilometers of cable runs, 30 game feeds, 70 terabytes of video content, 3,000 clips created on EBS, and finally, 32 pairs of cargo pants. More than 50 EA staff are on site. They're creating more than 10 million impressions each day. They're broadcasting live across Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. They're capturing more than 200 gameplay clips per day for use on social channels. They have about 60 graphics going. They got 10 stats per game. There are 472 games, and if you do the math, that's just mind blowing. Now we have the ENG team. Now there are 10 of them in total. They work 24 hours a day. They've done over 70 live interviews. They've delivered 40 plus pieces of content and thousands and thousands of espressos. More than 200 consoles are on site and more than 3,000 hours of QA time to test the game for the tournament. We got a score here. Otherwise, we're not well, here is my analyst station, where they crunch numbers and point their finger on this big telestrator. And Vieira's gonna lead them into the money location where that space is. It's pretty cool, they never let me do it, I don't know why. And here is the couch, where a lot of the magic happens, interviews with guests and my friends, and there is the casting desk, where they're calling all the games, making everything sound so exciting. Welcome back to Amsterdam, or more importantly, welcome to Decision Day. Boom. And finally, last but not least, it's the lights. Now we have pretty much 500 light fixtures here in Amsterdam, including my favorite, the blades. Also, the largest item in the room is the big screen. It is composed of 264 LED tiles. And what's this button for? Let's see. So that's a wrap.